Hello, and welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Last time, we left off with lots of reading. Now we're finally in the game. Huzzah! But of course, like any JRPG, there's going to be still lots of talking. But I will try my best to make sure that goes along quickly. Or as quick as possible. And thankfully we've and thankfully we've just graduated and become full time bracers, but of course these brats are still the bane of our existence. <laughs> and of course these kids seem to be <laughs> I'm always never a fan of the whole boys club only thing, but personal opinion. Well, she is a bracelet though, is the thing, Luke. I am your father. Okay, feel better. And of course, with her ego, she can't help but show off. Let's see how horribly wrong things go before showing off. Well, of course she's full of it. She's full of idiocy sometimes. I'll be honest. Yep. Uh, I suppose it's not a shocker that she likes to show off that she's actually become what she's been training for. I suppose anyone would. But... Knowing these two kids, it's going to be causing more trouble than... <laughs> exactly. High Pony. Very nice. Yeah, as I said last video, it still seems to be the comedy relief, whereas uh, Joshua seems to be the straight man, although he certainly has his jokes too. cynical brat you call a friend. Mean, but true, <laughs> as we'll find out, because this is about as far as I've gotten is uh, the quest to, for these two that you'll soon be finding out that we'll have to do. Only mature people are allowed. Well, Estelle, then you shouldn't be a bracer. Just saying. <laughs> Still not sure if their Sunday school is a religious thing or if it's just school that happens on Sundays, but... Still odd either way that... The school seems to be dying to have them back. It is a school. Oh wait, the building might be haunted. Maybe that's why it's dying to have her back. Oh wait, but then it's already dead. Hmm. And off they run. I got five bucks. Luke likes her. Oh, yep. Joshua seems to think so, too. <laughs> That's good. It's just a boy thing. Yes, the word secret base makes you curious? Joshua, hold in there. Don't catch Estelle's stupidity. <laughs> okay, mean.
And of course, we should all remember on Lake Estelle that we have a newspaper to pick up. And for those of you actually playing along with the game, um, I'm sure you can all read the Steam achievement, achievements very fine, but uh, on the off chance that you haven't checked on, in on them yet, one of the achievements is to actually buy all of the liberal newspapers when they come out. So that's a good thing for you collector maniacs to do. And certainly good for keeping up on the lore if you're interested. And of course Estelle is mad as these two are talking about her in a bad way. As I said before, not even the actual in-game characters seem to like her. See, so in the first video I said I'm not sure if, this, if the money is actually gold because what newspaper in any fantasy setting is a hundred gold? <laughs> One gold, maybe. So, it might be copper. Because generally, a hundred copper generally round, round, la, 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 rounds up <laughs> to being about one gold in most fantasy settings, thereabouts. Sometimes more, sometimes less. <laughs> hmm. They're even supposed to be writing a story related to Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. Gee, that must be so exciting. No offense. Okay, I guess I'm going off of news reporters and TV and things like that. But shouldn't they be more concerned about more action-y things, not a Queen's birthday? No offense to those in England. I mean, it's the Queen's birthday is the same as anybody else's birthday. They're just higher up in power. Should be kind of a... I mean, it should be important, but... Oh! Um, Sidetrack. Side note, we just received a recipe book. And... Pardon me. And so... Oh, my brain stopped. Uh... Don't you hate that when you're in the middle of the thought and then er, derailed? In my case, it's thought, 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 squirrel. Hi there. What? Who doesn't watch Disney movies? Anyways, um, recipe book. Uh, yeah. So. The healing bombs you get in the game are expensive. As he's saying here. So what you want to do is generally heart, uh, kill every monster you can, not only for the experience, but the items they drop can actually be used in, uh, for recipes. And generally you have to mix and match recipes or buy them and, you know, uh, try them all out. So that, that way you can heal your heal you and your party with less cost on your wallet. Although I'm sure you're going to have to balance between, hey, my health's low, but I don't have any healing bombs or the things. Do I want to try and head back to a save po uh, rest point, or to head back and buy some bombs, or to just try your luck hunting monsters and yes, receiving our first recipe. I apologize if you heard that. But this is my favorite way of learning how to cook. You have to eat the food to get the recipe. How? How does that work? Basically, all you have to do is eat the food to learn the recipe. It's as simple as that. Okay. I get having excellent taste buds, but no one's good enough to know, no one's taste buds, no offense, 
is good enough to know the exact measurements to make something out of just eating it. I'm sure they can take an educated guess, maybe, if they've made something like it before, but... Yes. Ooh, cookie. For, uh, something... A cookie... That I, style that I've never eaten before. Om nom nom. I like cookie. Oh, brain filling with knowledge! Oh, okay, feel better. Knowledge cookies hurt. And well, put it to good use. Yeah. So, generally, finding the restaurants is a good way to. Yeah. To so demios cannot be carried as items. So basically, I'm sure as we travel and find other restaurants, our um other towns or places if we find restaurants it's good if you have the money for it to have a sit-down meal so that you can gain more and to also uh, try and get all of their take-home uh, take-home to-go meals as well so now that looks like we have all four books I don't I'll be honest I don't remember if we get an yet another book after this now whoops C for the shortcut to the cookbook. Anyways, now you might want to head in here because not only is yet another character to worry about, but it's also the armory. So we uh, should be able to buy our characters some upgrades. Hopefully. By the way, I get, I understand having to putting all the other weapons out on display that that's perfectly fine but why is the gun case so high up that you have to have a ladder to get to it i'm sure that it might be just perspective and that's actually a step ladder maybe but at the same time if it's not why i i mean sure they're dangerous but a, don't keep them loaded. B, keep the glass locked. And I'm sure there's some arts or spells and things like that that can make reinforced glass. So that someone can't just elbow it and break it open. But that's just me thinking up of very strange things. And of course, Mr. Elgar here is sad that Joshua's finally become a bracer because he's been such a good uh, assistant slash worker. Now, let a shot, please. Uh, we have enough to at least buy one of them. And I tend to... I tend to favor... Hmm. Wonder what. Anyways, um. Lost my train of thought. I hate that. I'm very good at doing it. <laughs> Anyways, um. Oh, right. I was going to say that I tend to prefer to. It seems that either way. Anyways, I tend to prefer to uh, upgrade um, Joshua over Estelle first. His stuff seems to be more expensive, clearly. Oh, and so are though. By the way, I like this. That that okay. So. Uh. I like. I guess they're enchanted with magic, but this 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 one the the white uh, oh the white bracelet. This bangle emanates pure white light to prevent blindness. 
how does that work? Be sure, I mean, if you have a light on your wrist, that's cool, it's a portable light. But how does it help prevent blindness? Because if there's a bright enough light, your eyes are going to react no matter what, even if there's another light countering it. Or something. This makes sense. This kind of makes sense. Prevents poisoning because it's blessed by the goddess of... Adios! Okay, I feel bad. Adios. Yeah, Adios. Adios. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so far, as far as I've known, the Joshua stuff is more expensive. So, we'll buy... We'll buy his stuff first. And sell the... And I'll be sure to cut this out in future, but I thought I'd share. I'm sorry that took so long. My... <laughs> my mind was not focused whatsoever. I'm sure that'll get plenty of comments. Nonetheless. And, of course, no surprise, we've got a problem. Gee, I wonder what the problem is. Bet you can't guess. Yep. It's those two kids. Stop getting detected by Metal Gear Solid guards! Okay. I wish I could make that sound effect. That'd be really cool. Like, with my mouth. Yes, what else would I be making that sound with? Don't. Get your mind out of the gutter. Bad. Oh, Charizard. Charizard's too busy. So... Guess who's going to get stuck with saving their butts? Us! Our first real quest! With all due respect, I... Well... Uh, even though, as Joshua said before, even though she's a pain in the neck to no end, and seems to be all in all trouble um they she does seem to know how to put her best foot forward when it comes to actually doing this sort of job so at least i'm sure she'll be good at this job as i said i'm more than likely guessing that these two are going to become better bracers than her father but and currently i'm highly likely that the father is you know the best of the best. Like no one ever was. Sorry, Charizard got mentioned. And do do do. do. Okay, I expected a little bit less to. We don't have time to lose. Right behind you. Anyways, so, off we go, into the wild blue yonder. Oops. I didn't know that, but thank you. Thank you for telling us it was the Northwest Gate. So, this way. Or not. Uh, I have an act for getting lost. Even in video games. Although, to be fair, it is only my second time playing through this part. After... 
Oh, here we go. No, stop it. Ah, uh, fine. Oh. See, maybe I should actually, you know, read. There we go. Stuck in a lamppost. What am I, a moth? There we go. And of course, we'll be battling monsters on the way. So, this is our first for real combat. It kicked me. So this should kill it. Yep. Yeah. So in general, using art is a good idea no matter what. I have yet to run into enemies that are actually resistant to it. But then again, I'm really early on. So I don't expect to. But knowing most RPGs, there will be a come time. There will come a time where art is ineffective against them. And that we'll have to for focus on using the crafts and normal attacks. But in general, for most combat, it seems that... Oh, and these things are in mobile. They can't follow you, unlike these guys. So, these little plant craters, you have to attack them on your own. Since I don't want to put you folks through um, having to watch a lot of battles, we'll just get directly into the story as quick as we can. And that's the mine. This is the tower that we were told to go to. Oh, this is dead end, so there should be awesome! And what does the treasure chest have to say? I wonder whose fault that is. Probably, oh, it was probably someone else's. Not our fault. We didn't go anywhere near that chest, right, folks? It was totally someone else's fault. We, whoops. Yeah, oh well. At least we got attacked from behind. Or right, we attacked them from behind. By the way, though, water arts seem to be rather weak, so... So watch, it'll just barely not kill it, of course. Uh... So while Estella is good... Huh. Is good at support with her water art. And it is good to keep around until you um, upgrade. But um, it might be best. Ooh, so close to leveling. Monster breast meat. Mmm, tasty, tasty monster meat. Don't make your mind go places. Although, since I'm talking about it, I'm making your mind go places. I'm so evil. Mwahahaha. And we got here pretty fast, so it's actually surprising. Even though we did stop by two stores and buy some upgraded equipment, Nonetheless, it's actually surprising. And yes, we will be getting paid for this, I'm pretty sure. It's dark in here! 
By the way, my only question is, did the kids light these torches, or have they been eternally lit? It's a haunted tower! Okay, feel better. Nonetheless, still. Huh. Man, from now on, I'm just gonna make the Metal Gear Solid noise every time I hear that. Okay, I'm going to make an emulation of the... The Metal Gear Solid noise. <laughs> yes, I'm being a goof. Uh oh. Cover your ears, folks. She's gonna yell. And of course, she's mad. We better save them before it's too late. No. I, I do keep forgetting that rotating the camera is a thing. <laughs> Sometimes. And of course... And yeah, it's better to do that. And here's my question. Why can't we do, do this? in combat and one-shot them like that. Of course they're not playing around. No, they want to play- they want- no wait, maybe they are playing around. They want to play- eat their legs. It must be a fun monster pastime. Oh, great. Protect the NPC quest. How fun. No. It's usually best to morale and And the monsters should focus on us. One monster down, two to go. Is down. Yeah, in general, <clears throat> in general, Joshua seems to be the better in combat, and she seems to be better at support, which isn't a bad thing. Which is generally a good idea to have characters like that, obviously. But then again, I also did also also did upgrade his weapons too. So close to leveling. Darn. More monster meat. It would have been really bad to just rush in ahead because Joshua wouldn't have been there to help us. And that would have made the combat a lot tougher. I've never picked that option, but that's what I assume will happen if you do that. And of course, Luke, even though he acts like he hates us, is actually actually admires us. Go figure. And of course, he's a dummy and decided to go do that. Try and Goomba stop him again? Heard that bouncing noise. <laughs> Violent she devil.
Shouldn't we forgive each other like they teach us in school? Um, I'm gonna go with no. Ooh! Hammerhead Turtle Shark. It's something in my teeth, isn't it? Um, how? How is saying behind you? I'm like, is there something in my teeth? Yep, Hammerhead Turtle Shark. And you have a staff yourself. You could have poked it. That's that's the only thing that makes that makes this cutscene a little bit iffy is that. Well, he's super fast. I get that. Then obviously shows us that yes, he is the best. But Estelle also has a weapon. Couldn't she have fought it or at least you know batted it away? Come on, it's a staff. They're good at range and whatnot over over swords. And of course she's impressed even though much like she mentioned in the last of last bleh, last video she thinks he's good for nothing. But that's of course cuz She's his daughter. Well, of course, they're just beginners, so give them a break. That just means that you both have room for improvement. You're like a gazillion times more awesome than Estelle, brat. Of course I was. I'm her father. Bling! <laughs> totally should have that, like, Teeth gleam sound effect. And of course, he she's upset. Mm, Cause he can. And of course we're reporting it, so I think we get rewarded for it. Yeah, we definitely get rewarded for it. We've got a letter. Of course it's work-related stuff. Joshua, you should know this. You're the smart one. Yeah, obviously. Makes sense. Yep. And as I thought so, he seems to be the best of the best. Like, no, I never was. Still funny. Although, making the same joke twice only makes the joke less funny, I suppose. But, still. I find it amusing. So, we should be able to upgrade that.
and unfortunately not enough to buy any upgrades to the armor. But at least we've got upgraded weapons. That's something. Still like the music. And of course she's already doubting herself. Go figure. And at least she's got that going for her. <laughs> really? You think so? I like how she's taking it as a compliment. Your nosy personality makes you not able to ignore people's distress. Totally skips over the nosy personality part and goes... Focuses on the positive thing at least. So there's that. Could have been, but wasn't, so. Anyways, after this, if as soon as we get control back of them, uh, it, get control of the characters again, uh, I'll be wrapping up the video shortly. But of course, most like every JRPG, uh, we don't know how long the cutscene are going to last, because I've only gotten as far as saving the boys. Everything after that is unknown to me. So, we'll be experiencing that together. Of course, help is welcome. Uh, spoilers are not. I mean, it would be preferably you didn't, but I know I can't stop you, so. Unless I disable the comments. But I'd prefer that you didn't spoil it. But then again, of course, if I get stuck, I will either check the comments for said spoilers to see what I should be doing, or just looking it up. Either way. You're laughing like a big dick. It's far more than usual. What's that supposed to mean? You're going to see my angry expression. Yep. Okay. It's starting to grow like a bear. Oh, well, crap. We're about to go trek wildlife. Stuck on a tree! I keep getting stuck on trees or lampposts. Seems to be my talent. Maybe they're... maybe they're... Uh, magnetically... Uh, attracted to... All forms of objects? I got nothing. Anyways, um... You know what, I'll keep... No. I said I, I said I'd stop as soon as as soon as I got control of the characters again. But at least we stopped right by the Casey's household. So uh, we'll pick up here next time. And um, okay, I have gotten a little bit further, and uh, we'll see what the father is up to. And I'm sure it's not going to be any good. Uh, so without further ado, I wish you all the best. And see you next time. Toodles.